purpose of our business or our goal in life is to uh, promote renewable energies, mainly solar water heating and photovoltaics, which is the power of making electricity from the sun. Um, our customer base ranges from cottage owners right through to industrial clients that are looking at renewables for their companies. We started into this business long before it was popular and long before the media had jumped on the green bandwagon. Um, I liked the technology. Um, it was interesting. It was fun. And uh, our customer base started off um, with cottage owners, people who had a cottage and they got tired of using a coal oil lamp for lighting. So they looked to solar power for lights or TVs or VCRs and that's where our customer base was uh, always, um, that's where it started out and even to today that is our largest customer base. It's only recently with the green movement that you're hearing more about people thinking for their residential home. Um, a typical cottage system is going to run anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000. Uh, $10,000 at the high end will give you the ability to run a microwave, TV, a VCR, your water pump. Um, you could charge your cell phones. You could have all your lighting. You could have a toaster, a kettle, pretty much all the comforts of home. Um, you wouldn't be able to run uh, an electric stove off of that or a fridge, pretty close, but probably not. So um, three to 10000 gives you all the comforts of home. An off-grid home has a battery bank as the storage median. So think of the bank of batteries as just a big bucket of water, or it's now a big bucket of electricity. That's where all your power is stored. So that storage bank of batteries requires some maintenance. There's many forms of solar energy. Um, there's photovoltaic, which is producing electricity from solar panels. And then there's solar thermal, which is using the power of the sun for heating water or air. Um, the heating of the water is uh, very, very popular amongst consumers. Um, surprisingly, not for what most people would think, showers and dishwashers, but for heating their swimming pool. What we have here is a, uh, a solar uh, water heating panel, which would be used for heating water in swimming pools. And the whole concept behind this is, uh, you know, it's the old saying, uh, you know, walk on a hot driveway uh, in the summertime, it's warm because the sun heats up the pavement. Same for this here. As the sun shines on this polyethylene plastic, um, it gets quite warm. And inside this panel are small channels that run vertically from the bottom of the panel to the top. And what we do is we would put these on the surface, uh, on the roof of a home. And the pool pump would then pump the water from the pool up through these panels where it gets heated and then comes back down into the swimming pool. What we have here, David, is a solar electric panel uh, referred to as a solar module, not a solar panel. Solar panel is a series of them connected together. Solar module. What that's, it's, that's photovoltaic or PV. Is, is photovoltaic, yeah. yeah. What this is made up of is an aluminum frame it's got a glass top here, and then underneath the glass top are a series of silicon wafers. And each one of these wafers have embedded in it some electrical wires so that when the sun's energy and its light spectrum strikes the surface of these cells, uh, voltage is created in each of the cells. And that voltage is then uh, picked up by the wires in the cell and transported to the back of the panel where there's a junction box here and the wiring would connect into this junction box to take that electricity to your batteries or the breaker panel of the customer's home. A typical rooftop installation would have you know anywhere from 5 to 20 of these wired together with with 100 percent confidence that out of you know in the past 10 years I've never had a customer and I mean never had a customer come back and say that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Three, four, five, six years later I'm meeting people whether it's at the grocery store or whatever and they're like we love our system, it's great, we're so excited about it, it's so much fun, it's working great. Everybody who buys it and gets into the technology 
really seems to love what they've done. This technology is not going away. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get cheaper. And the price of energy eventually is going to have to go up. I like to say that we're working on a curve where the cost of solar energy are coming down, the price of grid power are going up. And when those two curves meet, that's the goal right there, is when they meet. And I think we're, we're probably 10 years away, but when it hits, that's going to change everything. We have a cooker here that uses the power of the sun to actually boil water. And in about an hour, this will be warm enough inside here that we'll actually be able to have warm soup, all from the power of the sun. The reflectors send the sun's energy into this case where the heat can't get back out because of the glass top and it will actually warm up enough in there to boil water in that at minus 30. That's again the kind of thing that people might do at their cottage but it's especially uh, things like these for developing countries I gather where they don't have the sources of... These ovens are actually quite popular in places like India, Bangladesh where people are using them every day to cook their meals because the cost of coal is very expensive there. And where it's not minus 30 and they have to stay Where it's down. not minus 30. <laughs>